What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will be giving you my personal top five reach draft picks in the 2024 NFL draft. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for watching as I do create weekly football content. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. So with my draft pick video, this is in no order. So with the first one I will talk about is Bo Nix, pick 12 to the Denver Broncos. Look, I get it. With the release of Russell Wilson and on the hook to pay him this season, about $38 plus million, finding a quarterback in the draft to stay on the cheap side is definitely understandable. But at pick 12, selecting Bo Nix is definitely a serious reach in my opinion. The Broncos are more than just a quarterback away from being competitive, especially in their division, and selecting an edge like Jared Verse, Latu, or Turner, or a cornerback Arnold, Mitchell, or wide receiver could have been a better option here. The Denver Broncos did not have a second round pick in the 2024 NFL draft, so I definitely understand the urgency to draft a quarterback in the first round, especially with the underwhelming quarterback room that they have at the moment. But I see Bo Nix more of a second round talent who got drafted way higher than he should have at pick 12. Bo Nix will be competing in camp against Zach Wilson and Jared Stidham, so there's a good chance that he may be a starter week one in 2024 season. If Bo Nix can succeed in Denver, then this pick can be a hit, but for right now, Bo Nix at pick 12 is one of the top reaches for me in the 2024 NFL Draft. So with the second reach pick for me is Ricky Purcell, pick 31 to the San Francisco 49ers. With the San Francisco 49ers starting to prepare for life without Debo Samuels or Brendan Ayuk soon, drafting a wide receiver in the 2024 NFL Draft was definitely about to happen, but it was a matter of when they will draft one. In the first round at pick 31, the 49ers selected Ricky Purcell out of Florida, and me personally, I thought this pick was a bit of a reach. Do I think Ricky is one of the top slot receivers in the draft? Absolutely. And I believe he fits the 49er style, who could be a great option for Brock Purdy for the future. But at pick 31, this was a bit too rich to select him and believe the 49ers could have selected him by trading back a few spots in the second round. Come September, Ricky will be a 24-year-old rookie and seems to have a below average after the catch numbers with 5.8 extra yards per reception. When it comes to finding creative ways to get Playmakers involved, Kyle Shanahan is one of the best in the league, but with Debo, Ayuk, Kittle, and Christian McCaffrey, I wonder how much of an impact Purcell will make with the amount of playmakers on this team for now. This, this selection can look smart if the team does decide to move on from Ayuk and Debo, but as it stands right now, selecting slot receiver Ricky Purcell in round one appears to be a slight reach for me at this pick. Now with the third reach pick for me in this draft is Rook or Horho. I believe I said it correctly, but forgive me. At pick 35 to the Atlanta Falcons. Coming in the 2024 NFL draft, Edge was a serious position of need for the Atlanta Falcons. And after making a shocking selection at pick eight by selecting Michael Penix Jr., grabbing Rook at pick 35 is one of the top reach picks. Look. I understand selecting a defensive tackle in the draft is understandable with Jarrett, Anyamata, and Goldman heading into the wrong side of their 30s, but this high in the second round to select Rook is a bit of a head-scratcher for me. Rook does possess huge upside, and his length and athleticism is what intrigued the Falcons the most that led to this selection but he is incredibly raw who needs to work on consistent hand fighting against blockers and gap shooting responsibility as he tends to overcommit, which does happen quite a few times. With the defensive line getting up there in age, I definitely understand getting younger at the position, but Rook at pick 35 was a reach considering their biggest need being pass rush. Now the third reach pick for me is Delmar Glaze, pick 77 to the Oakland Raiders. One of the top positions the Raiders needed to focus on in the draft was the tackle position, and after selecting Bowers at 13, Powers at 44, selecting Glaze tackle out of Maryland at 77 is a serious reach for me. 
Delmar Glaze provides swing tackle potential in the NFL after starting 16 games at left tackle, 16 games at Maryland, and will go into camp potentially competing at both spots. Although he was selected at 77, he was ranked 257th on the PFF big board, which is projected as a late day three prospect or potential undrafted free agent. Glaze's production was quite consistent at Maryland the past few seasons, but possesses subpar athleticism in which he can have trouble dealing with speedy pass rushers and elite pass rush moves. Some scouts believe he will have a better chance starting if he were to switch to guard, but for the most part, he is looking like a backup swing tackle at the next level. With tackles flying off the board in the 2024 NFL Draft, I definitely understand the Raiders wanting to get their hands on a tackle when getting the chance to, but with better prospects available, such as Matt Gunkowski and Dominic Puny being available, selecting Glaze this high was a reach for me. And last but not least, the fifth reach pick for me is Tyron Hopper, pick 91 to the Green Bay Packers. With the release of Devondre Campbell and hiring new defensive coordinator Jeff Hafley, who will be implementing a 4-3 defense, investing and adding depth at the linebacker position was definitely something the Packers had in mind. After selecting linebacker Adrian Cooper at pick 41, selecting Hopper at pick 91 was a reach in my eyes. If the Packers wanted to double dip at the linebacker position at this spot, Peyton Wilson was still available or could have traded up a few spots to select cornerback Elijah Jones, who played under Halfley at Boston College and shore up the pass defense. Hopper seems to be looking at a special teams role to start his career, as well as providing linebacker depth, which is a bit questionable using a premium pick for that kind of player, which is why I have this as a reach pick in the 2024 NFL Draft. The Packers do have three linebackers heading into their final year of their contract this season, McDuffie, Welch, and Wilson, so I understand the thinking ahead pick and beefing up the linebacker room switch to the 4-3. But Hopper, as a third round selection, who will be fighting for a special teams role and be a linebacker 4 or a linebacker 5 on the depth chart, is a bit too rich for me, which is why I have him as a reach pick. But thank you so much for watching this video. These are my top five reach draft picks in the 2024 NFL Draft. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe as I do make weekly content. And if you enjoy this content, please don't forget to like this video. Thank you so much and catch you next week.